Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at how to change the GST HST on a bill. Uh, so in other words, uh, what QuickBooks does is that it automatically calculates the sales taxes based on the code that you input. But sometimes uh, you receive a bill, uh, often it's a shipping expense like for FedEx or UPS, and the amount of the sales taxes is actually either the full amount of the bill or uh, a much higher percentage than the calculation of 5% or 13% or 15%. So the fix is actually quite simple and uh, I will show you how to do that. So first let's just go to uh, plus new over here. We'll click on bill, or you can enter it as an expense. And here you're going to choose your payee. Uh, let's say our payee is FedEx. I'm going to add FedEx as a supplier. Uh, the payment account is, let's say, our Amex card, and we'll use today as the payment date. So. Let's say the bill is for uh, entirely for GST and HST, and the amount on the bill is $225. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how we would do that. First of all, let's just choose a category here, and this is important uh, because we want to um, open up the GST box. So I'm going to add shipping as an expense. Uh, and here, shipping freight and delivery, save and close. And you can do all of this from here. It's very a very handy feature. And in the amount column, I'm simply just going to put one cent. And you'll see now, uh, I'll choose the code. And uh, depending, on, it doesn't really matter whether you choose GST or HST. Uh, but, you know, ideally just choose the sales tax for the province in which you're located. So I'm going to choose HST Ontario. And you'll see it calculates the amount here at zero dollars because 13% of point of one cent is, is zero dollars. Uh, but this is an editable box, which means I can enter an amount here. So I'm going to enter $225. My bill becomes $225 and one cent. But now I still have that one cent over here and I want to get rid of that. So, uh, I will, um, choose on line two shipping expense and i'm going to put minus 0 0.01 and the sales tax code that i'm going to enter is exempt here this for some reason went away uh, we enter the 225 and that's pretty much it so we have a total of 225 dollars and the entire amount is allocated to the HST account. The uh, second type of transaction is where you might actually have uh, some shipping expense or duty, uh, but again, it is only a small portion of the bill and you still want to edit this amount. The process is pretty much the same. Let's just say it's $25 of duty. Uh, this line we can probably get rid of uh, and here, let's say the GST HST is $225, uh, then uh, that's pretty much it. You have the $250, uh, and again, this box is editable. So one thing to keep in mind is that if you change anything here, it will revert back to this calculation, so you might have to enter it again. It's important to, to check that before you save and close the transaction. Uh, so that uh, concludes this very short tutorial. I hope it was useful. Um, please like and subscribe. And uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comment section. Have a great day.